Finally, a place to sit. Ugh, thank God. I was beginning to think I'd have to stand for the whole trip. Huh? Oh. Hi there. I honestly thought there was no one in this row. You're so short, I almost didn't notice you. <laughs> we have math class together, right? I'm Rez. You recognize me? So what? I don't care who was here first. This is like the only free seat on the whole bus. Well, besides the popular kids, but I honestly don't feel like listening to them the entire bus ride. The camp's almost three hours away. I go insane with all the blabbering and giggling going on. Plus, I definitely want to avoid seeing Tyler and his new cheerleader girlfriend swap and spit. <laughs> but you, short stuff, you don't take up much space on this bench. And judging by how you act in class, you won't chew my ear off. You barely speak anyway. Wins all around. Now, time for some music. What? I won't move. You don't own this bus. Hey, what are you doing? Stop pushing my leg. Jeez. Maybe I misjudged you. You really are fucking annoying. I've got long legs. I can't help but take up more space. Besides, not like you'd need it anyway. Look, your knee barely reaches here. I bet your feet aren't even touching the floor right now. Yeah, yeah, whatever, smarty pants. I won't put my legs in the aisle, because if I know anything about these idiots, some little trip over my feet, and with my track record, they'd probably assume I did on purpose. One more incident this year, and I'm done for. I get expelled, and my dad most likely kicked me out of the house. So, no thank you. I choose life. And now, if you could stop bothering me until we arrive, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make you stand in the aisle. You don't want that, do you? Right. I'll make you a deal, okay? I'll let you listen to my music, and you stop being annoyed if you can manage. Here's my yearbook. Catch. Wow. Okay. Didn't actually think you'd catch it. Whatever. Be quiet now, nerd. Alright, let's see. Bow, two arrows, water bottle, phone. Oh, I guess I didn't ask for my earbud back. Who's that little nerd anyway? I haven't seen them since I, we got off the bus. Hope they didn't get eaten by a bear or something. Whatever. I'm sure I'll see them later. Now, I think I've stalled long enough for everyone to partner up, and jackpot. I'm the only one left. No one to bother me while I pretend to do this stupid archery thing. Huh? What was that, Teach? I'm the only one left. Sorry. I guess I'll just do it by myself. Behind me? What the? There's no one even here. Oh, fuck. Didn't see their short stuff. Sorry, I kind of wasn't expecting to run into Tinkerbell. Is there no hire requirement for this sort of thing? Someone could confuse you for a rabbit or something. Eh, stop complaining giving my earbud back. I was nice enough to let you borrow it for the bus ride, but don't you think I'll let you have it for the whole trip? I saved up for them for half a year. And you better not tell me you lost it. You don't have it? I... Oh, yeah, I guess you would have put it in your backpack. But aren't you supposed to have it on you? What, forgot your stuff at the cabin? Not quite. What's that supposed to mean? You better give it back by tonight, got it? I'll need it before curfew. Now, I hope that settles it. I've got some arrows to shoot. Bye-bye, short stuff. <sighs> Can't you partner up with anyone else? I kind of wanted to do this by myself, so if you just kindly... All right, all right, I get it. Mr. Control Freak told you to group up with me. Stop bickering. He's looking in our direction. 
like I told you what will happen if I get in trouble again. And if you're to blame, I won't let you forget it. <clears throat> okay, so, um, you got your bow? All right, let's go then. Try to keep up with me, short legs. Let's take a left here. I'm well aware of the signs point the other way, but I don't feel like waiting for targets to open up all day. That's gonna take forever. Oh, come on. Do you really think anyone in our class will hit anything even remotely related to a target? No. They'll all be searching for their arrows somewhere in the bushes. Let's just hang out somewhere else instead, and then we'll go back to camp. It'll be like we never left the trail. Besides, the sign says there's a stream somewhere along this path. And I don't know about you, but I'd like to cool off a bit. It's way too hot today. Oh, come on. No one's gonna find out. It's a freaking forest. They're not gonna know. We can't split up. If the teachers see you by yourself, they'll know I skipped this stupid activity. Now move before I have to drag you with me. Besides, why are you acting like a goody two shoes all of a sudden? I don't remember seeing you at all since we arrived at camp, so why the sudden interest? I didn't see you at assembly, not at lunch, and not even at the weird art activity. I thought you'd like that kind of stuff. I see you draw in class all the fucking time. So what? It's kind of hard to miss it. You're sitting right next to me since Miss Rodriguez made me swap seats. I know you're trying to be all secretive about your doodles, but it's not really working. It's honestly kind of cute. But nah, seriously, tell me, where were you? Oh, come on, are you embarrassed, short stuff? Did you sneak up to go make out with your crust? Mm -hmm. Then why would you be embarrassed? You can tell me. I promise, I won't say anything. I'm not the gossipy kid. Hmm. Bluff blonde dude. Fuck, you mean Tyler? Was he bothering you or something? Uh-huh. So, like, right after we got off the bus? <laughs> Dude, what? Oh my god, this is pure gold. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you call him out like that in front of the cheerleaders. Oh, jeez. I didn't think you had it in you, short stuff. I, honestly, I'm impressed. <laughs> Maybe we'll get along after all. Because honestly, that's pretty badass. <sighs> Surprised yourself, huh? Yeah, I didn't think you were usually that confident. Spur of the moment kind of deal, wasn't it? Cool, but that doesn't explain where you were all day. The whole time? I can't believe Tyler's boys wouldn't let that go. I didn't think those idiots could remember anything longer than an hour. They actually took your stuff? So they got my earbud. <sighs> well, this just got personal. Now it's not just between you and them. I just hope they didn't throw everything in a puddle yet. Uh, how the fuck am I supposed to get my stuff back now? I could beat them up easily, but then I'll get in trouble. You know, if they started the whole thing. Nah, short stuff. No need for you to apologize. You can see this coming. We're on the same team from now on. But now they got someone their own size to deal with. Didn't they go after someone like you? It makes my blood boil. Hmm? I meant nothing by that, really. Just someone like you. A short little nerd. Someone whose brain is their strength rather than their muscles. But I guess Talano Brains and his gang of mindless idiots don't see being smart as something admirable. Oh? Um, I do, I guess. I think you're kinda cool. You don't care what people think about your grades or wear clothes, no offense. And we're very different, you and me, but we're both weirdos. I'm the big grumpy guy that sits at the back of class just minding his own business. Well, 
as long as Mr. Rodriguez doesn't come into play. And you're a cute little nerd at the front of the class with perfect attendance who'd secretly rather be an artist than study. I like that about you. <laughs> oh, now you're just trying to flatter me. Are you trying to say you're into guys like me? Is this to get me to help you with your backpack? Because I don't need to be bribed, you know. You hear that? That didn't sound like a rat or something. Not to figure out anything, but I kind of don't want to run into any larger animals right now. What is that? Where is that coming from? Shit, watch out! Uh, Tyler! What are you doing? Can't you see there's people here? Look before you shoot, dumbass! Stop laughing, you idiot! You could have fucking killed somebody! God damn it, you know I can fuck you up, man! I will make you regret this! I mm. No. Breathe, Raz. Breathe. It's not worth it. Not yet, at least. Hey, short stuff. Are you okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. Before these dumbasses get any other smart ideas. Although that's very unlikely. Let's go somewhere we can sit down, alright? It's fine. They're cowards. They ran away. Fucking idiots! I don't think any of them actually got decent aim. They could have hit us. That was way too damn close. They get away with a lot, but to risk actual serious injury? They're even stupider than I thought. Are you sure you're okay, short stack? You don't look like you are. You're shaking pretty bad. Wait, did did he hit you? Shit. Where? It cut your shirt, and underneath? Just a little scratch. <sighs> okay, thank God it's nothing worse. You scared me for a second there. I thought you were seriously hurt or something. Hey, hey, shh, shh, shh. You're okay. You're okay. Don't cry. You'll be fine. Fuck, I'm... Do you want me to hug you, or... Uh, uh, oh, okay. There you go. Shh. It's all good now. I know it was scary. I got scared too, to be honest. I'm sorry I grabbed you like that, by the way. Um, I had no time to think and just reacted. I... If I hadn't... I don't even want to know what might have happened. I'm sorry if I scared you. I swear, I'll teach those guys a lesson. They've been overstepping for quite a while now, but this? I promise you, short stuff. You'll never deal with them again. Now let me wipe those tears. There you go. Look, short stuff. You already made it to the stream. And you see that big rock over there? Looks like the perfect place to sit and enjoy the water. So, let's just take a rest. You're still trembling a bit. You could hold on to my arm if you like. There's quite a lot of roots here. Make sure you don't trip. Watch out for that step. There you go. Alright. Sit down here. Still a bit shaky, huh? Poor thing. Do you want me to put my arm around you? Yeah, it's no problem. There's no need to thank me, Shorty. Of course I saved you from a freaking arrow. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, for this? You mean for calming you down? <laughs> It's, uh, no big deal. I need this myself, to be honest. 
when they started laughing about it like absolute dumbasses it made me so mad but honestly it would have just caused more trouble for the both of us and I wouldn't want you to get involved in that besides with crazies like them that's way too dangerous I mean you know me I get in a lot of fights but uh they usually don't include bows and arrows I'm more of a fist fight type of guy <laughs> look I know it's hard but just try to forget about those days for now. I'll deal with them later. I'll get your stuff back, and I'll make sure they won't bother you again. I just have to figure out a way that doesn't get me expelled. Oh, and if you ever feel like having a go at Robin Hood again, just come to me afterwards. He'll stay away if he knows what's good for him. Also, tell me beforehand next time. I need front row seats for that kind of show. <laughs> Short stuff versus Tyler. <laughs> Once a lifetime experience. You should sell tickets. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you if you never did it again. By the way, how's your arm? Does it still hurt? Need me to kiss it better? Oh, <laughs> no need to punch me. I'm kidding. I'd rather kiss you somewhere else instead. What? Uh, nah, short stuff. I didn't say anything important. Don't worry about it. Now, um, we're already at this stream, so we may as well get some use out of it, right? Even though it's a little less impressive than I would have hoped for. Come on, take your shoes off. Oh, it'll be fine. Trust me, short stack. I'll get in first. Ah. Uh. Nice and cool. Look, it barely goes up to my ankles. I don't know what that means for you, though, Tinkerbell. You might get your hair wet. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Come on, now get in. Grab my hand. I'll help you. Careful, though. Ground's kind of slippery. Feels good, right? Well, I got you. I told you it was slippery. Careful where you step. Hold on to me if you need to. Got your clothes a bit wet, huh? We should probably get out then, so you can dry before we head back. Sun should take care of that rather quickly. Come on, shorty. <laughs> 